Go to church. Happy Monday. Uh, today I want to go to the third of three sermons I was listening to last week while painting, which I now realize is kind of a funny um, theme for a series, but here we are. Uh, one of the sermons I listened to was from Francis Chan. It was one of his, I don't really know what he's doing or where he is. It was one of his sermons to Hong Kong, which is a whole city, so that's unclear. But you could watch it. Like the others, I'll, I'll put the link in the, in the notes, though. Uh, if you could only watch one of these and you have time to watch a sermon, I honestly would watch the Russell Moore one because I found it the most convicting. Um, but this one was encouraging to me because in it, uh, uh, Chan turns to Jeremiah 1 and emphasizes something that we have been saying throughout the pandemic, but that, that he points out is emphasized in even more places around scripture that I hadn't realized. And it's such a timely idea. We need to return to it again and again these days. Uh, Jeremiah 1, 4 through 8 says this. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And then I said, Ah, oh, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a youth. For to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. And it's encouraging to know, Chan points out that it's encouraging to know that the Lord knew Jeremiah before he had formed him. And in fact, he had a ministry for him before he was even born and uh, throughout the early years of his life was preparing him for exactly that ministry. It's like what we've talked about in Ephesians 2.10, that God has prepared good works for us. It's like what we see in Psalm 139, that God knits us together, even in our mother's womb. Long before we know anything, long before we know that two plus two makes four, God knows us intimately. And it is a reminder for us that this year, uh, in many ways is unusual, but in other ways is not an exception. It is not an exception to God's care for us and plan for us and sustenance for us and provision for us and his mission for us. God formed us. He knew us before we were made. He knew this year would come and he chose us to be faithful to him in this time. And though it is hard, uh, he has not given us what we need in order for this to be easy necessarily. He has given us everything we need in order to be faithful. And uh, even as we're faithful, I think we can hope to see much fruit. Because just like God knew Jeremiah and had a ministry for Jeremiah before he was born, I think we can read this passage and the others and say, that's certainly true of God with us as well. That he knew long before we were born that we would be us and uh, has been working to prepare us for this season. And uh, because of that, with his help, by God's grace, we really can rise to the call of faithfulness today.